tonight, neighbors are still in shock. A day after a plane makes an emergency landing in the middle of a South Kingstown neighborhood. New tonight, state police tell us the pilot, 25-year-old Willard Burke, was trying to fly to the Westerly Airport but couldn't find it because of heavy fog prompting that emergency landing. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin joins us live in South Kingstown where the plane has now been moved. Eric? Kim, things are back to normal in this neighborhood tonight, but as you said, the plane where it was sitting has since been moved. But before it left, it certainly made for a memorable July 4th weekend for people who live here. Before being taken apart to be towed away, the plane spent the night and morning in Peggy Doyle's South Kingstown yard. Today was a very busy day because we had a plane in our yard and we have the grandkids here and that was just a very, very exciting thing. The plane that had been pulling a banner came to a stop in her yard after an emergency landing Saturday evening. This is video of part of the flight, the plane flying extremely low over a neighborhood. According to Rhode Island State Police, fog came in so quickly the pilot couldn't find Westerly Airport where he was supposed to land. So police say after circling for a while, he became worried he was going to run out of fuel, but needed a place to land and ended up choosing the neighborhood. Just happened so fast, but everything was okay. Police say no one, including the pilot, was hurt. He managed to avoid power lines and homes in the neighborhood before making the emergency landing. Doyle's grandkids were out looking at the plane Saturday as it just sat there and Sunday as it was taken apart. The plane was later towed away. Everybody was happy with the outcome. That's the only thing that really mattered. Even though the plane isn't in her yard anymore, it left behind quite a few memories. Doyle says when it comes to excitement, this weekend will be tough to top. I can't think of anything to outdo this. And the FAA is still investigating the emergency landing. Live in South Kingstown, I'm Eric Alpern, Eyewitness News.